Hey, it's just so Trish, and I want to talk about, do you sell your curriculum? Should you sell your curriculum? What happens if you sell and you need it? Hmm, here we go! Okay, I do this every time. Six years in, I cannot tell you, I've bought some curriculums twice. Because I got it. I'm thinking, yeah, this could work. I tried. I don't like it. I want to get rid of it. Do something else. And then years later going, yeah, that wasn't so bad. So what does, so I run into, I have six kids. And if you're a big mama, you definitely probably don't want to get rid of curriculum. And I like to look at curriculum in my hands. So I buy a lot of curriculum used. I look at it and I might like it. I might not. If I don't like it, I like to get rid of it. And then having a small house with a lot of children, you end up with so much stuff. And you look at curriculum, you're like, oh, it's just on the shelves. I could sell that or I could give it away and make space on my shelf because my shelves are just busting. If you are a homeschool mom, how many of us have a busting shelf system? I mean, I have curriculum everywhere. And I always want this idea of like, hey, get rid of it all start new and just only just let's not let it consume the house let's just have one shelf there's our homeschool that's what we do we don't need to look like a used homeschool store mm -mm. so at the end of the year i'm like let's get rid of it this didn't work this didn't work and i sell it off i give it away i give a lot of it away i just give it away on my like, care and i end up having to buy it again why do I do that? I shouldn't do that. So I'm always like, I have to get rid of what I don't like, what I'm not using, just get rid of it. And how many times I thought I've gotten rid of something and been so thankful I found it on the shelf again because I'm like, oh, I could use, I have something for that. Let's go it. Let's get it. And so I was talking to another mama, another homeschool mom with a pile of kids. And we were talking, I was like, yeah, I don't know. I don't like this. And I like that. You know, we're discussing curriculums that we like and, you know, and there's so many curriculums I like a lot of curriculums and sometimes it's kind of a roll of the dice on what I use that year or what I'm going to use for this or that. You know, it really becomes a roll of the dice and part of me wants to say, this is what we're doing. I get every one of it and we always, we just use this. I like that idea. I don't know why I like that idea. It's predictable. Here we go. And then until it's too predictable, I'm like, yeah, let's get something else. So do you get rid of curriculum? Do you? I mean, it's a hard one. If you are a mama who's got rid of curriculum only to find yourself buying it again, let me know. What is your take on this? What do you do? Um, I, I don't, I hate to even say it. I mean, I've had to buy Matthew C over again. That stuff ain't cheap. I mean, I've bought over again well not fifth grade because i didn't have a fifth grader but i bought you know other ones i bought it several times all about spelling i bought twice i mean and then there's this one book that i was like oh that's not homeschool enough that kind of resembles public school i don't want it and now i'm like i wonder what i did with it it's a great book i could be using that right now that was a good book so mm, yeah yeah that's that gets hard that gets really really hard so i am constantly wondering should i get rid of it should i not and then i get to the point of like i get rid of nothing nothing and then i have a moment i'm like ah i can get rid of this this and this of that that's fine i don't have to keep it all so it's a balance tell me how you balance it out if you've run into the i've had to buy new curriculum over again you know if you've i've gotten rid of it i've never looked back tell me what you think tell me what your experience is i want to know am i the only one in seller's regret you know there's buyer's regret like i can't believe i bought all that that's usually me the next like billing cycle of a credit card after homeschool convention I'm like oh, i bought all that but do you ever have seller's remorse so anyways, it's just so Trish.
let me know. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I will talk to you later. And if you got questions, ask me. I might not have anything to do. I'll sit there and talk to you all night long. Text messaging you. That's what I do. Anyways, I will talk to you later.